Hey friends, welcome to another video tutorial. This is Fotini, your visiting Fotini Stampin' Spot. I have a really fun fold card today that is actually super easy to make. Um, this is considered a corner flip down card and uh, a very easy example um, and very easy to follow. All, but all that we basically have to do is make two cuts on the front of our cardstock and it will flip down and then adhere our layers to it. It's really easy. And I'll show you how we do it. So we have a piece of cardstock. We're using crumb cake here, and that is um, just our regular eight and a half by five and a half, scored at one and a quarter. And then I also have some of our um, DSP um, for the front. So this is Cajun Craze that's cut at um, two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths, and then our DSP is cut at I believe two and a quarter by two and three quarters by two and three quarters, and then we have this smaller layer which we've um, I've already punched out using our stitched shape framelits that we're going to stamp. So our stitched shape framelits are punched out using the square, and I think this one measures. Let me see here. Two and one eighth two and one eighth all the way around. So I just have these cut ready for you to go. The other two pieces, that three pieces we're going to need, it was just some strips of the same paper. Um, our back layer will be again Cajun Craze and this is, I believe I cut this at one and five eighths. Yes, one and five eighths. This is one and, this is cut at one and a half and this is cut at one. And we're gonna use our triple banner punch to banner this with stamping on the front. So basically, let's get our card. I have it scored. You're going to take the front of your card and you're going to align it to the three going across on the long side, okay? And then you're going to take your cutting blade. Let me just double check my measurement. And you are going to line it up to the two and a half on the ruler. So let's bring that down to two and a half. And from there, you're going to draw a line to four and seven eighths. So just push it down, draw a line to yours four, five, six, seven eighths. It's the, um, not the smallest hash mark, but the one right next to it for the seven eighths. Okay, so you have a cut basically right there. Hopefully you can see that. So then what you're going to do is we have to make a, a horizontal. So we're going to just turn this, uh, let me think the direction. So we were like this and we're going to go across this way, I think. Yes. So we're going to line this up again at three. And we're going to bring it where we were here and we're going to go up to I believe it's five eighths so from here we're going to go up to five eighths which is the one line larger line right after the half mark so you will have if this works out you will just have an L shape basically and really that's the whole fold. I'll show you how easy. So now what you're gonna do as you have your card like this, you're going to push your cut out away from you and you're going to take your corner and flip it forward. And then it will naturally bend right there. So then all you do is you take your bone folder and press that down. And it is as simple as that, folks. I mean, it's a super easy, fold but it gives it that little extra like geez how they do that okay so there you go let's look at that again you just punch the inside corner out and then fold it down and then the rest we could just put together so let's do some stamping first to get that out of the way we're going to use Cajun Craze stamping pad it has this nice kind of terracotta look that I like and I think it's great for fall and it matches really well with the DSP paper that we're using. So here's our stitched shape framelit. Now you can either stamp 
and then cut it out or cut it out and then stamp whichever you know works for you so for video purposes I I did the cutting out first so now it's your day it's going to get stamped and I'm moving a little bit over because I want to banner out that corner so I'm just kind of push down and come up and we're done with our stamping so I'm going to pull out my triple banner punch and how this works is you just flip it over you push this up and it pops open and I want to banner out it has three sizes um, technically four if you utilize these notches for smaller ones smaller paper but um, this is cut at an inch so really you could just slide it right in I like to flip it upside down so I can make sure that I'm aligned and just squeeze and it punches out a really nice and easy banner so the other two pieces of cardstock we're just basically going to do the same thing and because there is no stamping or anything I just want to punch it I'm not necessarily flipping it over oh it does not want to cut all the way third time's a charm there it goes so we have that and then again this is cut a little bigger and we cut that out now we have all different lengths here so we're going to layer these all on top of each other and we're going to cut it all at once so we're done with this so my cardstock going across is a four and a quarter so that's what I'm going to make this length at so I'm just going to bring out my stampin trimmer and just as easily I'm going to measure out four and a quarter here and just cut the strip off same for all three pieces you can make them smaller or whatnot they're all going to line up the same at the end but the banner I'm going to um, you know you'll be able to see that so that it'll look like this and if it's depending on how you like it to look you can adjust it so I wanted to make sure I got them all in the same length first so if you want to make them closer or further away that's up to you so what I typically do is I line them up and then I just cut one last time so let's do that just gonna take some fast fuse because I'm out of snail this works just as good okay. I'm gonna layer this on top of the DSP I just realized something I don't know if it's gonna make a difference it probably won't if you're using a DSP that has a specific pattern um, just make sure that it's the right direction and not upside down but I don't think mine is gonna matter so much and then I'm going to adhere this bottom one okay get it all there right there you go and now I want it to be flush so I'm just gonna bring back my stamp and trimmer and because I know that my card I want it at four and a quarter I'm just going to trim those edges up and actually maybe I should make it at four because I do want the card to there we go take that all off there we go so I have a nice clean edge and the only other thing that we have to do is adhere these pieces to it so we're just going to again add a little fast fuse adhesive keep in mind the direction that you have this going you can do it either way you could go like this too let's try it this way just to change it sorry for the interruption um, I was just layering on my DSP to my Cajun craze and now we're going to put our card together so our square is already cut out this is a three by three square that's why we cut our DSP a little smaller so we're going to just adhere this to our square and because it's a flap I'm really kind of being generous with that and I do have a bit of a border of that crumb cake I did want it to show a little Okay, so we have that 
And then we're just going to add our bottom banner. And even though we flipped over the design of the DSP, that nice um, color combination comes in handy. So we have that same color from this DSP into the other one. And there you have it, everybody. You have just a nut. Oop, you know what? We forgot to add a little here from when we cut. Don't forget your edges. There we go. So we have a nice little card. Now this flap might bother people because it pops open and you want it to be secured down. You can use um, a dimensional if you'd like to or even a glue dot and just even your Tombow and just kind of secure that down and it stays right there for you. And this is a quick and simple card and I have to give credit to DawnOStamping.com on YouTube for the easy measurements of the card and I cased this from her and thank you for the dimensions. So if you'd like to see um, more video tutorials that I post, please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. And if you'd like to order any of the supplies that we used um, from my online shopping page, just visit um, the link below and you can go directly to my shopping page and order any of the items that I have listed under the supply list. So again, thank you to everyone who has um, watched my videos and has continued to support me. I totally appreciate your, your, your time for watching the videos and for your support in purchasing items from my online shopping store. It does help me to be able to come back uh, every week and produce videos for you guys. Simple ones and even more complex ones in the future for all your crafting needs. So thanks again and I hope to see you all soon. Enjoy this card and I hope you try to make it too. Thanks again.